Okay, I've been doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu on and off for almost 20 years. I teach it, I've competed in it, and a lot of my best friends do it. And there's a ton of really excellent technical Brazilian Jiu Jitsu content on YouTube that I really don't think I can compete with. But one thing I don't think people talk about enough is why starting Brazilian Jiu Jitsu can change your life. Because it won't just make you better at handling yourself in bad situations, it will also help you out in a whole bunch of other ways. So that is what we're gonna talk about in this video, but I do think that we need to start with the obvious one, which is that it will make you better at fighting. So I think it's pretty well established by now that in a one-on-one -on -one fight against somebody who isn't a trained fighter, BJJ is pretty great. It lets you get the other person to the ground and control them, at which point you can either do something mean to them or just wait until help shows up. Where this gets kind of weird is when people start to talk about how BJJ doesn't work against multiple opponents or people with weapons. And look, here's the perspective I come at it from. There are probably about a thousand different types of violent altercation you could get into in your life. From like your uncle gets drunk at a party, so you're just fighting a load of dudes on the top of a giant stone pyramid. And Jiu Jitsu will prepare you for, I'm going to say probably more of them than any other fighting style. If you need to control a friend or a family member or just somebody who's had too much to drink, then grappling is absolutely the best option. If you get tackled by a mugger or need to protect somebody else, then grappling is probably your best option. Out of all the types of fight that a regular person is likely to get in in their everyday life, there are very few where punching and kicking is a better option than grappling. And most of the punching and kicking ones, you can actually walk away from. I mean, it's nice to know that you can beat another guy up in a boxing match, but in most situations where you have the option to square up against somebody in that traditional way, you can probably also either give him what he wants, if it's like a mugging, or you can just leave. And so if you're gonna spend like six months to a year of your life just learning one style that you hope is gonna benefit you in a whole range of violent situations, then I think BJJ is probably one of the top choices to learn, maybe with a bit of boxing sprinkled on top so you know what a punch looks like. If you've heard of the Pareto principle or the idea that 20% of the work gets you 80% of the gains, it's kind of like that. If you learn a couple of basic takedowns, the basics of getting around someone's legs and into like a mounted position and a choke or two, that is going to make you better at fighting than the vast majority of people you'll ever encounter in your life. Because once you hit blue belt, a lot of what you learn is fine tuning that stuff further or learning counters to what other guys who also know jujitsu do. And then after that first year, you can spend another 10 years learning like how to fight multiple opponents or learn low percentage defenses to knife attacks that you're hopefully going to never face anyway. Personally, I know at least five people who've used Brazil Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to get themselves out of very bad situations and none of them was strong or tough and actually one of them was quite a small woman. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is really good for getting yourself out of bad situations and that brings us to it makes you more confident. So this is kind of obvious in one way. Being good at grappling makes you more confident in your ability to handle yourself in a whole range of different situations, the fighting ones we've already covered. Side note, it actually makes you more humble in a lot of situations too, because one thing you learn from doing jiu-jitsu is that you can never quite tell if the skinny dude who looks like he's never been to the gym in his life is actually a master of a whole bunch of chokes that you don't even know the names for. But also, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is probably one of the toughest things you'll ever do, both physically and mentally. Even getting your blue belt means putting yourself through a whole lot of physically unpleasant situations, and also learning a bunch of new skills, which is something a lot of adults never put themselves through. You're going to have to get smashed in the gym, then go back there the next day or week, knowing that the same thing is going to happen again, and the only way to improve your chances is through time and effort. And the secret is, once you've done that with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, everything else feels easier. You got better at one challenging complex thing, and so you know you can do it with almost anything else. And confidence isn't something you can trick yourself into having. It's something you build by doing challenging things and then ultimately succeeding at them again and again and again. And Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is amazing for that. But paradoxically, it also teaches you the beginner's mind. So a lot of the time, what impedes learning is our ego. Absorbing new information is a threat to your ego because it means admitting that there's something that you don't know. And a lot of people go through their adult lives without having to learn things very often. Maybe you learn to drive a car or you have to learn some new skills for your job, but those things don't take very long, and so you don't spend much of your adult life feeling like a beginner. But in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the way to get good fast is to have a beginner's mind about most things. You can't ever really decide that your technique is perfect, and you should never assume that less experienced people have nothing to teach you. Now this is less of a sure thing because yeah, there are people who get kind of good at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, assume they never have to learn anything again, and decide that they're amazing. And there's also a kind of chicken and egg vibe to it, because maybe the people who get really, really good at Jiu Jitsu 
are the ones that already have that beginner's mind thing in place, and so they progress faster than anyone else. But for me personally, BJJ definitely helped me work on my beginner's mind. When I got into judo to help my stand-up, I basically had to admit that I didn't know a single thing about it. And when I realized that I really needed to fine tune my leg lock game, I realized that I knew about as much as some of the good white belts at our academy. So the beginner's mind is definitely something that helps you in BJJ, but it will also help you in the rest of your life because admitting that you don't know the first thing about something and learning how to ask good questions about it is the first step to getting good at it. And admitting that you don't know anything kind of brings us to the next thing, you meet people from everywhere. So something that happens a lot as you grow up is that you start to hang around with the same sort of people as you. They're either people you work with or they're like parents at your kid's school or whatever, and they're the people you spend most of your time with and you don't really get exposed to any other perspectives about the world. But tons of people do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu from all walks of life. I've met police officers, soldiers, human rights lawyers, artists, photographers, DJs, rewilding experts, architects, plumbers, and hedge fund managers doing BJJ. And the thing is, because you all have this shared experience of doing something that's actually pretty difficult, that really brings you together. And so if you're prepared to sit and listen to each other in those little quiet moments of downtime after a tough training session, you get exposed to all these different sorts of knowledge and experience that you'd never normally have access to. And that can change your worldview and expand your capacity for empathy. But it can also just help you out because when you need advice from one of these people, it's easy just to ask for it. And when you go abroad, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is an amazing way to meet people. If you walk into a gym in another country and then you try and strangle everyone who's there, it's guaranteed that at least a couple of them are gonna be up for hanging out with you afterwards. I went to Brazil as a white belt and after everybody in that gym beat me up for several days, they like took me to a bunch of parties and places in Rio that I would have never normally had access to. So don't underestimate what a difference to your life it will make to meet new people and then like try and beat each other up. And remember as you're doing that, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu might be the best form of meditation. So I've talked in other videos about how meditation and mindfulness have never really worked for me. But something that I think BJJ is good at is it's a sort of enforced meditation. Obviously it's something you can't do while you're looking at a screen, but it's also something you can't do really while you're thinking about absolutely anything else. When you're trapped underneath somebody who outweighs you by like 20 kilos, or you're really focused on finishing an arm lock against somebody who you've never tapped before, that's literally all you can think about. It just pushes all the other thoughts out of your brain. And I think that's a skill that's beneficial to all of us, and one that is probably helpful to work on. So obviously I think you should start BJJ, but it really should not take you 20 years to get to the level I'm at at it. So if you wanna know what I wish I'd known when I started, you should watch this video next. Thanks for watching.